Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Alright, um, we last left off, we were here at the merchant. Got a selection of so we'll go ahead and sell some crap. Let's see, how much do I have? What do I have here? Two spinels. <laughs> velvet <Is> blue. <laughs> Thank you. And the hourglass. Wait, is that. Yeah, the hourglass. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Oh wait, we we're gonna sell the uh, the rocket launcher too. I forgot about that. As I do a 360 there. What are you selling? Okay, see, it goes for 15,000 ah. pesetas. I don't need it because I have the infinite launcher. You are probably gonna want to save that because it'll come in very handy for you later. I promise. Trust me. There's a boss that's just so annoying, but the rocket launcher makes it oh so easy. Leon. Hey, it's Sarah. What could go wrong? I got it. Oh no. <laughs> That is first degree sexual assault by a Plagueis. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, Lord Sadler. Now that I have this sample, you serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay with me, Lois. I am a researcher, hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. All right, Lewis! so he's dead. Lewis! Yeah, in this like game, anytime anyone dies, Leon shouts their name out really loud in typical dramatic fashion. All right, so we got that to make sure we don't turn into a. Uh, you know, a Plagueis infected freak show. And we stopped like right before the end of the chapter. I'm gonna go ahead and save down here. Alright. And, okay, everything's so peaceful and nice and quiet, you know. Well, you can check Lewis' body. I'll pay for your death, I promise. Everything's so quiet. Wait, what's that sound? Versus loot. But now. Ammo, no. Grenade, rifle ammo, no. Ah, oh, it's a. Ah, oh, nails on a freaking chalkboard. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go get her. So, let's see, what is this? More ammo. Alright, when you get here. Basically, what you're supposed to do is take the rifle and aim down and, like, just uh, shoot her. But you gotta make sure you don't shoot her or she's in a suit of armor. I can pretty Talk much. Talk about near you know, death experience. I can pretty much do whatever I want. I can just spray and pray. Now you have to equip the rifle and you gotta shoot these guys before they can get her. But see, lucky for me, like, they can't even pick her up. Like, watch this. Stupid. Failure. Yeah, she cowers there, and you have to just snipe anyone who like comes to uh, try to grab her. All right. Now this next part gets a little hectic because crossbow jerks are going to come in, so you either need to be a very good shot, or you need to switch weapons a lot because. I recommend that when the crossbow jerk offs come in, <laughs> use a grenade to take it. them out and Nothing. use the rifle to take Please the other guys stop. out. Take out the that jerk. Yeah. If you take them out quick, you can get over here and um, save her before she gets carried off. If she gets carried through either door, you know, you're it's game over. I got the key! I can get out! 
just trying to shoot her one time for good measure. Alright, so uh, now, as a very nostalgic touch, we uh, take control of the partner character. We take control of Ashley now. Alright. Ashley has no weapons. She has nothing. That's her little pose there. She's flexing in her suit of armor. She can pick up things just like Leon can. And, um... Other than that, she's pretty much completely helpless. Except if she's in a suit of armor, which makes it, you know, is going to make this next part oh so easy. And there's a typewriter, which I don't need. Now, if, th if these things grab you... Here, I'll show you how to... Where is it at? You can do this. Throw these torches. But it takes two shots to take them out. Or, you can do this. You just crawl under here. Now, what I like to do is this. I like to open this gate. Bait this guy over here. I'm probably going to screw this up because I'm trying to show it off. Yeah, they're, they're not grouped together enough. Oh wait, they are. Alright, you go through here. Circle around if I can get here quick enough. Yeah. And now, they can't crawl over, so they're both trapped in there. So that's a little way you can uh, save yourself some time. You have to turn both these cranks. Yeah, that's a little way you can save yourself from having to worry about them. Look at Ashley turn that crank, dude. Can't really make any jokes because I don't think she's like of age yet, but you know. If I could make a joke, man, don't think I don't have them ready. I just can't do it for moral reasons. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, over here, you want to check in here. Get 2,500 Mercedes. Anything you get is going to be transferred over to, uh, to Leon, so. You know, be sure to collect stuff. Right, here's the uh, door in there, but we can't, don't have the item we need to proceed actually out of there yet, so we'll take the red herb. We'll go ahead and uh, make an herb mixture. Yeah, they give you some healing because there are going to be some more enemies here later. Alright. Now we go down here and through this door, and, um,. This is where things kind of get a little hectic. Well, not yet. Okay, yeah, they don't get hectic here. See, she's got a little flashlight there. Alright, let's see. Yeah, more healing items and stuff. It's always handy. Alright, there are three buttons here. And I'm going to go ahead and stop before we actually start pushing buttons and getting to this next part. So when we come back, we'll uh, hopefully finish out Ashley's little mission. So thanks for watching. See you next time.